I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Very well. I doubt your father would mind a slight delay. Indeed. We spotted a horde assembling in the Korkari Wilds not three weeks ago. Luckily, King Kaelan took us at our word and marshaled Ferelden's forces quickly. The first battles have already been fought. Your father and I must move quickly. Thousands. Perhaps ten thousand or more in this horde. Normally the Darkspawn stay in the deep roads. It bodes ill that so many risk the surface. Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a blight and not simply some large Darkspawn raid? No Archdemon has been sighted yet, my lord. But with my entire soul, I believe this is a blight. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves once we arrive at the King's camp. Of course. You're young, skilled, and eager for battle. Also, I heard. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody, and I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I will not do so. Our order is too small to risk animosity with Ferelden's nobility. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's tempting, your lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. I have only found a couple of worthy candidates in my travels across Ferelden. Your father invited me here, suggesting this Sir Gilmore. If he is not suitable, I will head south and join up with the King. Not well. King Kaelin is an eager young man who has shown great wisdom in responding to the Darkspawn threat. I've heard he is a bit enraptured with the Grey Warden legend, and that is why he caters to your order. How? That is unworthy of you. He only repeats what we've all heard. Whatever the King's reasons, I'll take his support. The priority is defeating the Darkspawn before they threaten all of Ferelden. Until we speak again. Yes? We fought together under King Marrick when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. I'm sure there will be much to discuss once I return. I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. Good evening, my lord. It shall be done. is so eerie with everyone preparing to ride south. It will be so empty. We'll be up very late tonight so the Arl's men can be given proper quarters.
Good evening, my lord. Very well. Evening, my lord. Evening, my lord. Maker. Prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. As you say. Good evening. Good evening, my lord. Very well. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her, perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Ord more like. The reputation of the Grey Wardens as mythical warriors is unsurpassed. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Maybe. Have mercy. Is he asking after me or not? 
Maker's breath. Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. Good evening, my lord. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. Perhaps you could help me with that. Might you join me in teaching this lesson? Wonderful. Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? The records are vague. But the Kuslans became Tyrns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Kalanhad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanhad to maintain High Ever's independence. Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanhad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanhad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanhad won. Kalanhad wished to unite Ferold and not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanhad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The history between the Kuslans and the house reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During your grandfather's rule, of course Orle found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly ninety, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlais. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. Perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. 
I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't let myself want this one to you. Good evening, my lord. Very well. Shall be done. Good evening, my lord. It is begun. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. If I locked it any tighter, we couldn't get in. Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. And please, we'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. 
What? Rats? Not the large gray ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Well, at least one of us will have had a decent dinner. Perhaps your hound left something I can feed my guests. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, Your Lordship. Good evening, my Lord. As you say. Papa, will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. <laughs> when there's a woman in your life, you'll understand.
One day you'll meet someone who can handle you. Mark my words. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead. So little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, Maker's Breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, Mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Ugh! <laughs> 
darling. I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. And trust his mercy. What if the soldiers went into your brother's room first? Let's check on them quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs.